In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let's take a moment to acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When David and Saul approached on David's return after slaying the Philistine, women came out from each of the cities of Israel to meet King Saul, singing and dancing with tambourines, joyful songs, and sistrums. The women played and sang, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. <clears throat> Saul was very angry and resentful of the song, for he thought, they give David ten thousands, but only thousands to me. All that remains for him is the kingship. And from that day on, Saul was jealous of David. Saul discussed his intention of killing David with his son Jonathan, with all his servants. But Saul's son Jonathan, who was very fond of David, told him, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, please be on your guard tomorrow morning. Get out of sight and remain in hiding. <clears throat> I, however, will go out and stand beside my father in the countryside <coughs> where you are and will speak to him about you. If I learn anything, I will let you know. <clears throat> Jonathan then spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, Let not your majesty sin against his servant David, for he has committed no offense against you but has helped you very much by his deeds. When he took his life in his hands and slew the Philistine, and the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel through him, you were glad to see it. Why then should you become guilty of shedding innocent blood by killing David without cause? <clears throat> Saul heeded Jonathan's plea and swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and repeated the whole conversation to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and David served him as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God I trust, I shall not fear. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Have mercy on me, O God, for men trample upon me. All the day they press their attack against me. My adversaries trample upon me all the day. Yes, many fight against me. God, I trust, I shall not fear. My wanderings you have counted. My tears are stored in your flask. Are they not recorded in your book? Then do my enemies turn back when I call upon you. God, I trust, I shall not fear. Now I know that God is with me, in God, in whose promise I glory. In God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? In God I trust, I shall not fear. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. Your thank offerings I will fulfill. For you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. In God I trust, I shall not fear.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, Jesus withdrew to the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea, hearing what he was doing. A large number of people came to him, also from Jerusalem and from Adenium, and from the course beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. <clears throat> he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that it would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. So one of the tactics of the deceiver is to divide, to divide the human family, to put us against each other. And one of his ways of doing that is certainly through envy and through jealousy. And this clearly was evident in the relationship between Saul and David in our first reading. Saul so, so tragically captured by the deceiver that when he sees the goodness of David, he compares himself, you know. So David slews tens of thousands and saw himself through thousands. The crowds are giving both acclamation to these great warriors. But all Saul could hear is the contrast and a comparison and that developed envy within him. He goes so far as just because the crowds cry out, David, you did ten thousands and Saul, you've done a thousand. Saul leaps to I gotta kill him. He's now my enemy. So quickly the deceiver worked in the heart of Saul to divide through envy and jealousy. Friends of Christ, we have to know the tactics of the deceiver and how he tries to divide us. I think tragically often envy, jealousy, a comparison of what we have versus what someone else has, a comparison of what other one's talent is versus our talents. This is always like the, the uh, the beginning of division. Whenever we feel tempted towards comparing ourselves, developing into envy, always step back in gratitude. Why couldn't Saul simply step back in gratitude and say, Lord, thank you for allowing me to be the warrior that can kill thousands? And the giving David was David. But he couldn't, because the deceiver had captured his soul. Let that not be the case with us. If he destroys to divide us through envy, we step back in prayer and rebuke it through gratitude of what God has given to us. Let us offer our needs and the needs of the world to the Lord. So the leaders of our church, may God guide them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For civil authorities, may the Lord guide them in their efforts to protect human life in all its stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who are sick, may the Lord grant healing and comfort to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those traveling to Washington, D.C. for the right to life march, for safety in their travels, and a positive impact upon their witness for life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all those who have died, May God receive them into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Loving Father, hear and answer the prayers we have placed before you, for we have done so through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we receive the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our prayer. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it's just through your beloved Son you created the human race. Also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of our Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Pour upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in heart and mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. Our Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us now. We have our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke them with humbly prayer. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking.